Okay, so let's start with that cube. So, a, a huge OX. Our cube, uh, sorry, my cube here is going to have the uh, like four centimeter edge. Yours is, should be six because it's uh, you know, easier to draw. You know, it's uh, actually it's you know I'm restricted by the A4 paper for now. But for you, it's going to be a lot more, a lot better to to draw a larger cube. So you make more mistakes, right? Making more mistakes up front is going to help you learn. Right, so let's start with the cube. Measure four centimeters here. And I should go and have a 45 degree triangle. Don't have one. Should get one, right? Boom, vertical here. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I can't draw this without a 45 degree triangle because I'll need one for the second position. So, frontal view is like this, bottom view should be um, to here, like this. Right, let's thicken the lines, it makes sense. Our cube is sitting on uh, a horizontal plane. It's not floating. So if it's not floating, its edge should be on the OX. And this distance here, A, could be whatever you want it to be. You know, larger, smaller, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't uh, count, you know, it doesn't matter for now. Right, now we need to rotate this at 45 degrees. Let's go. Right, let's have this 45 degree one. I should make this longer like this. Boom, boom, boom. 45 degrees. Let's measure <coughs> four centimeters here. Right, again, 45, 45. The diagonal for 45 degree uh, rotated square is a horizontal line, so we'll use that. These are all construction lines, by the way. Vertical, vertical, these two lines are on the same. Vertical, boom, vertical here, vertical here. Let's thicken the important lines. The edges, right one here. One here. Always, <coughs> always, always thicken all the parallel lines in one go so you make things easier for you. And now we need to go to the third position. Might need a bit more space for this. So I'll move the O like slightly to the right. So this is the spatial diagonal, right? It's called a spatial diagonal because, you know, it's not planar. It connects two opposing corners of a cube, right? And you can see it properly here. This is the length, this is the radius of our circle, because we will be drawing a circle. So how do we draw a cube on a vertical spatial diagonal in the third position? So this is the first position, this is the second, we'll go for the third. Right, draw a vertical line. Look at this compass, it's a mess. I'm going to grab this as an, a radius for an arch. Boom. Center here. Right. Circle here. Then grab the length. Right, here. And here. So, this is the radius that we got as an R here. This is the length that we draw two arches here and here. Good. Let's connect these. Right. This is the middle. We need to draw a parallel. Although I'm not sure this is four. See, it's not four. I don't know why. Is it 4 here? It's not 4 here as well. Well, there's a mistake somewhere. 
It's not four here as well. <laughs> What's this about? Man, is this four here? It's four here. Right, so there's a bit of a mistake. Is it four here? It's four two. And it's four two here as well. Snap. Right, so you need to avoid stuff like this happening. Good thing I spotted it. Right, so this needs to be a bit, uh, probably a bit like this. Right, wider. Man, stuff like this shouldn't happen. <coughs> okay, so this should be a... Yeah. Right, so we need to draw the planar view of this. Horizontal lines here. 